Good morning from a uh, windy and a uh, little misty Hidden Farm Road. Um, I welcome you this God's new day and I invite you in this moment um, as we greet one another with the Lord be with you. I invite you to take a moment and still yourself in heart and mind and spirit. Opening yourself to the presence of the one in whose image we are all created, whose sacred presence dwells within us and all creation. To be still and to know and to wear God within you, around you, among you. A reading from Psalm 137. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down and there we wept as we remembered Zion. Oh, how can we sing the Lord's song in this strange and foreign land? That psalm has been on my mind because here we are, not on the rivers of Babylon, but on the shores of Lower Mud Lake by the Yahara River. It could be that you're on the shores of Lake Wabisa or Kaganza or the Mississippi River or the Ohio River or a small stream or creek or just sitting inside with a cup of coffee, hopefully warm, remembering that we live in this new and strange time, wondering how we will exist, how we will survive. Everything's changed. The people of Israel in Babylon were in what is known as the second exile, taken from their homes, their life, um, everything they knew was now gone. Um, and it feels a little bit like that for us these days uh, as we grieve the closing of schools, uh, for the seniors in high school, uh, for the loss of those final months um, as seniors that are supposed to be joyous and celebrative and now uncertain uh, of how they'll finish, of sports uh, and extracurricular activities, the spring pep band concerts, uh, the choral concerts, the spring plays and musicals. We've lost so much people whose businesses are now uh, barely hanging on, the restaurants and bars and, and small businesses that have served our community, owned by our neighbors and friends, people we frequented. There's lots of grief and we're still amazed at all the different things that we had looked forward to and we're not sure how we can live in this strange and foreign time. I think about as a minister, and I know a lot of my clergy colleagues are also trying to deal with that because in addition to the grief and the mourning of the loss of these things, we're also trying to figure out how we can comfort those who mourn when a loved one they know dies. Funerals are changing uh, with the order that no more than 10. Um, how do we gather to comfort one another in those times of grief at a death? How do we um, gather to celebrate and remember that life? Live streaming, delayed services, uh, gravesides where no more than 10 can be gathered. How can we sing the Lord's song in this strange and foreign time? 
I think, as I said yesterday in my meditation, a new term that I've used instead of social distancing to think about it as physical distancing and social cohesion. And thanks to Tammy Klumpian and a colleague of hers for those, uh, that new way of seeing things. Because I think that's one of the things the people uh, of Israel in living in Babylon came to discover new ways to be people of faith, to worship, to care for one another, even in that strange and foreign place. Here we are in this meadow and you know the beauty of it that you can see all around and I'll give you a little more uh, visual of Hidden Farm. That we come up here. It's the first full day of spring and the birds are singing, the wind is blowing, there's a little bit of snow still. Uh, it's March, but it gives us the promise that all around us, even as the birds are singing, they're calling us to remember that in the midst of the winter, um, life returns anew. And that's the promise that's lifted up by the writer of Revelation in 21, of that new promised day when they write, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and first earth had passed away. And see, God's home is among mortals on earth, and God will wipe away our tears, and there will be no more mourning and crying pain and suffering and death for the creating one is making all things new that's the promise of spring that in the midst of our sorrow and suffering in the midst of this change that we're all trying to go through and to understand not just here in McFarland Wisconsin on the banks of the lower mud lake or Wabisa or Kaganza or Yahar River or wherever you find yourself, we're all going through this around the world. And if, as long as we can, while there is physical distancing, practice social cohesion, we will find a way through this together because God is with us and within us. So this day, as we go about uh, our new way of living, and I just dropped my book, apologize. I offer a prayer for you this day. Yep. Well, tell you what, I lost my page uh, and I don't have my cameraman with me. He was still sleeping, so. But I do wanna offer a prayer for that new life that comes not only in the promise of spring but also that promise that will spring up within us, uh, driving away the gloom of darkness and night uh, and lead us into that light of love and life that we share this day however we can in reaching out with a phone call, an email, a text, uh, a knock on the neighbor's door and just checking on them, doing something somehow uh, to rest assured that life will always answer, and we are loved by the one in whose image we all are created. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord be kind and gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor this day and grant you peace. Amen. Have a wonderful, blessed day. so cold my phone won't shut off. Huh.